something that I just want to point out real quick is I've actually fixed this provisioner up a little bit by including these additional lines here. Okay, so I'm just going to highlight the lines for you. So I'm using a different type of provisioner here. I'm using a shell provisioner. So what that tells Packer is I just want to run, in this case, an inline shell script. I want it to take the contents of this string. I want it to take the contents of this string here. And I want you to execute them on the shell on the remote EC2 instance. So again, this is Pack has done its job. It's given us, it's given us a EC2 instance, and now we're just saying to it, go ahead and run the shell script against it. Now the reason I'm showing you this is because what I'm doing here is I'm running the cloud dash init executable. I'm using the subcommand status, and I'm using the command dash dash wait. Now the reason this is important is because Ubuntu 18.04 and beyond, definitely inside of AWS, especially inside of AWS, uses a cloud in its system, which allows us, allows Amazon, allows us to essentially provide it with a script so that when it boots up, it provisions itself. So this is different to what we're doing. And cloud in it will execute, do whatever it needs to do, and then it'll give you the system. The problem is, is our update.yaml file, a few lines down there, tries to access the apt repository, tries to access the apt command, and it attempts, it attempts to get a lock on the repository on the local system, it attempts to get a lock on the package database. If cloud in it is still running when it attempts to do that, the playbook will fail. So because cloud in it executes and we don't know how long it's gonna take, without this additional command here, you may find that you run into errors where your playbook fails trying to install or update packages on the system. This is called a race condition because you are racing to see whether or not who gets first. Does Cloud in it get there first or does Ansible get there first? The problem is, does Cloud is has Cloud in it finished doing its work by the time your playbook executes? So what this line is doing is saying, well, let's actually just wait for Cloud in it to finish doing what it's doing before we run our Ansible playbook. So this is a very powerful idea in and of itself, but what it actually demonstrates from a packer perspective as well is that each of these provisioners are run in order, in order that they appear. So what we actually have here is we've got two provisioners. Okay, so we've got these two curly braces here, right? So we've got well, provisioner zero, because a, a list starts at zero. So we've got the first one here, and then we've got the second one. So we've got provisioner one, provisioner two, and one's a type shell and one's a type ansible. And the shell one will always execute first. So this is perfect for us. We get to run this cloud in its status wait. We wait for cloud in it to finish its to finish its tasks. And then when it's done, Packer will run the next one for us and we can be guaranteed to get a lock on the package database within our within our server because we know the cloud in it has finished its work. So if you're running into issues where you're seeing package packages can't be installed due to, due to not being able to get a lock on the database, that's what you need to know.